Begin by finding a position that feels comfortable for you and your body. Maybe it's seated in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. Take a moment to enjoy that comfort, to notice the comfort in your body that arises in, your, in this position and to really enjoy it. Notice if there's any muscular tension that's present in your body at this time. Perhaps in your jaws or your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your hands, your feet. If you notice that there's tightness or tension anywhere in your body, Notice that and gently invite it to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. And again, allow yourself to enjoy this relaxation. To notice what it feels like to relax and to really enjoy that. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Very good. Now, use your mind to reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for, whatever that may be for you. Perhaps something simple like the food that you had to eat today, or the water that you had to drink, or something that's particular to you and your life situation, whatever resonates for you. Use your mind to reflect on these things and say, I feel grateful for this, and I feel grateful for that. Allowing yourself to cultivate a sense of gratitude.
And if you notice any feelings of gratitude arise in your body as you contemplate these things, notice that and really enjoy it. Continue to reflect on things that you're grateful for for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Visualize them in your mind's eye and imagine them being happy. Perhaps a happy memory that you shared with them or just imagining them smiling or laughing, whatever is appropriate for this person and your relationship with them. In any case, imagine them being happy. If you'd like, you can use a phrase like, may you be happy, or I love you, or I care about you, or any phrase that you like, really. Perhaps something that's specific to this person and your relationship with them. Whether you use images in your mind or mental talk or both. Allow yourself to cultivate the attitude of well-wishing, wanting your easy to love person or animal to be happy, wishing that for them.
continue to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing, love, and care for your easy-to-love person or animal for another few moments. Each of us has practiced cultivating loving kindness for this easy to love person or animal. And we recognize that in principle, every person, every being deserves the same kind of love or care. So we're gonna practice doing that now. Imagine that you are in some kind of ordinary, everyday place, perhaps a grocery store that you go to, or a nearby park, wherever it is that you go to in your life. Visualize yourself being there in this normal place, a real place that you often go to. And imagine that there are other people there. See them in your mind's eye at this place you're at. Consider that they also deserve to be happy. That they also want to be happy, to be free from suffering. See if you can wish that for them in the same way that you wished happiness and freedom from suffering for your easy to love person or animal. Imagine that you're walking through this place, wishing happiness to each person that you meet. You can walk down the aisles of the store, wishing metta for each person that you see, or walk down the pathways of a nearby park, radiating metta out of your heart towards each person you see, or wherever it is that you've picked. Imagine that you're moving through this place, seeing different people there, and cultivating this same attitude of loving kindness towards each person that you meet.
Perhaps you're visualizing them being happy or using a phrase in your mind like, may you be happy or I care about you. Just cultivating the attitude of well-wishing. Any way you'd like to do this is fine. Just allow yourself to use this setting, this everyday ordinary place that you often go to as an occasion to practice metta in your imagination. If you'd like, you can imagine that the people in this place are impacted by your wishes, by your care, by your love. Perhaps as you walk by them, they suddenly mysteriously feel happier. They don't know why, they don't understand it, but suddenly they just feel happy. They're smiling and laughing, filled with joy. If you'd like, you can imagine that. These people being touched by your presence, impacted by your love. In any case, use this ordinary setting as a training grounds for love and care. Wishing each person that you meet well. like you can stay in the same place in your imagination, or you can move through many different places. A grocery store, a street in your neighborhood, a hardware store, 
local dump, the bookstore, whatever you'd like. It's helpful to make them real places as if you're practicing for when you really go on an errand in this place. Simply use these ordinary everyday places to practice being loving and kind, wishing others well in your everyday life. As we go about our lives and do our errands, most of the time we're just focused on the task at hand, doing what we need to. But what if being kind and loving, wishing others well, was our highest priority? What would that look like? Use your imagination to practice that attitude. Being kind and loving, even towards strangers. It's people you see when you're around. Practice that attitude.
continue to practice wishing others well in ordinary everyday situations for another few moments. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. As you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 